What is good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a brand new wallet that I recently just got. I'm super excited about. It's super beautiful, amazing, smells amazing, great leather. This is the Little King Goods, I guess, flap wallet. The official name on the website is the F1 Rugged Tan uh, wallet. I just go over a little bit of information, um, but you can see how amazing that the leather looks, the patina from the folding. It already came like this. Like I didn't put any uh, days on it. This is brand new out the box. And oh, look at that. It's super dope. If you guys don't know, I really love leather wallets. I love the brown, dark, tan, cognac, beige, whatever colors, veg tan ones because they can patina real nicely. And uh, this is just one of those. So here you can see the welcome to the kingdom. This is a little thank you note that he put in there. So shout out to you, man. Thank you for that. I really love when companies do that. It just gives a little extra plus for them. Sheesh. Oh my God. I love this color. Here, let me show you what I mean. These are the type of wallets that I typically get. This type of color, um, this type of leather, either top grain or full grain because it's great quality and it ages super well. It looks beautiful. The patina gives it a unique look, a one of a kind, even though there's maybe hundreds of them sold. You'll get your own scratches, your own marks, your own uh, friction on it. So all everything that you see from the wallet as it ages will have its own character. And that's what I love about these leather wallets. So I am addicted to getting new ones. I mean, some people collect uh, coins, some people collect watches, some people cars. I'm just doing wallets, at least so I can do some reviews for them, and I'll switch them out here and there. But here you can see some of the wallets I get. I get their, that color, basically. Brown, dark brown, tan, beige, cognac, whatever. And uh, yeah, here's another one. Pretty much, you can see a consistency there. And there's not too much complication with this wallet. I mean, like I said, it's a minimalist wallet. It's a flap wallet, so you just open this flap, and you can see what the inside looks like. And then to close it, you just close the flap, but nothing too complicated. Let's see here. It's a machine stitched or hand stitched. I'm actually not sure which version I got, but you can see how it looks like all around. Amazing, beautiful, beautiful leather. I need to message this person to see what type of full green leather it is because it doesn't tell me if it's Italian, if it's a uh, English bridal, uh, European leather, what type of leather it is. But it's showing here some of the features. It's a rose gold foiled logo on closure strap. So that's beautiful. Really dope design. Hand finished dyed edges. Fair trade made. One card slot which fits six to seven cards plus some bills. And uh, I mean, you can see just how amazing it's looking. Let me just change the lighting a little bit. And <laughs> it's super dope because with wallets, like I said, it takes some time for them to patina and age and look really amazing. This type of leather, I don't know if I've ever had that type of leather because it's already came like that. Um, I mean, we'll have to see. Like I said, I'll message in that. If I find out what type of leather this is, I'll put it in the video somewhere. But here we're just gonna try it. we're gonna try to see if i can fit my cards i have five cards which is typically what i uh what i go on a daily basis five to six cards and then maybe some cash i don't typically carry cash but just for the sake of the video we'll put it in here let me just squeeze that open and right now it's fairly tight so you can fit three cards easily five cards you have to wiggle it in there a little bit but just keep in mind it's leather so the the leather will stretch to form to the amount that you want to fit in there. So if you want to do seven cards off the bat, don't worry about it being a little tight, a little snug is how it's going to be until the leather stretches. And I'm pretty sure it'll hold up really well because the quality of this wallet feels amazing. Man, what's crazy is like, even after everything, I do not feel like it's bulky or anything. Here's a comparison to my uh, other slim wallet. This one's a three pocket minimalist wallet that holds six cards. So you can see a little bit of a comparison. Relatively thin. Honestly, you can't feel the difference. With cards in there or not, it doesn't feel any different unless you squeeze obviously and then you can feel the insides of it. But my God. And you see here, we just open it. And if we need to get the cards, should be pretty, relatively easy. All 
right, so here I'm gonna put some cash in and we're just gonna see how it, it's easy to put in and put out. I have about four bills here, so 40, $41. And we're just gonna try and slide it in here. Now again, it's a little bit tight cause it's brand new, but I will be doing an update on this wallet within the next, I'd say three to four months, maybe six months, just to let you guys know how it's worn in and uh, how, how much I tested it, how it looks. I'm sure it's gonna be looking even better in about a couple months. Everything's gonna patina so beautifully. And yeah, let me just show you what that looks like. Look at that. And here's the other cards I'm gonna put back in there. And boom, that's how it looks like. I'm just gonna close this up. Now, also, again, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying this, it's a little bit tight, so it's going to be a little bit uh, of a minute to slide that down because it hasn't formed to the leather yet, or the leather hasn't formed to the cards yet, but give it some time. Just look how beautiful this looks like in the light. Oh, my God. I think this might be one, definitely my top, top three wallets now. I have so many leather wallets, and this is definitely up there now. Just because of the patina, the way it looks, how simple it is, minimalistic, simplistic, nothing crazy about it. You can see if I need to get the cards out, just pull those out and then fan them and then get the card you want. And then boom, slide into your pin, put it back in. Nothing too hard. All right, don't mind my dog in the background. He's just chilling. But yeah, that is basically it. That's that's the simplicity about the wallet, which I love. And the really like the rose gold uh, lettering and font is, is what makes everything for me. It's so appealing, aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, I mean, I'm just showing you here how I get the money. You just put it back in there and everything's going to be super simple to pull out. Amazing wallet. No cons for me other than when I notice that you close the wallet by closing the flap. Sometimes it's diagonal or how would I say it? not set straight. And I think that's maybe just because it's tight. It has to loosen up a little bit as far as the leather stretching. Um, but here, I'll show you an example. I'm just closing the wallet. Oh, I think in this case, it looks relatively straight. It's a little bit crooked, but here, let me give you another example. Because I found when I was testing it and I closed it really fast, like uh, giving a real world scenario where you open it and close it really quick, it just looks like that. And it's happened to me like three or four times. But again, I think it's just because the leather needs to stretch out not that big of a deal not a big deal at all so that was just the first con i saw and it's probably not even a con the second thing is uh, even though the wallet looks so amazing on the outside i relatively like the wallets that on the inside have something smooth or amazing this is just a little bit rough i think it's i think he kept it there to keep it all natural and rugged i mean hence the name but yeah not a big deal i still think it's super dope I prefer wallets that have some amazing inside lining or the inside just looks better. Like for example, this wallet here, it's lambskin lining on the inside, so it feels amazing. But that's just me, not a big deal. Overall, I think I like the wallet. That's the only main con here. Here's another example of lambskin lining. Overall for me, the wallet's a solid nine out of 10 for me. Beautiful wallet, I highly recommend it.